I'm going to love this video. A lot of you are going to hate it. Ladders, they're terrible. Stop doing them with your athletes. I probably lost a lot of you right there. Shut it off. Good. Um, I actually wish you would listen more because you need to hear why ladders, they're terrible. You need to hear why they suck. Okay, I'll just say it. They suck. Um, they teach tippy tap. I'm so sick of hearing fast feet or slow feet don't eat. Like, cool, you can make a rhyme. I can make a rhyme in no time. Like, are we Eminem in 8 Mile or are we actually trying to be sports performance coaches making our athletes better? Here's why ladders suck, folks. Ladders do not teach you to effectively apply force to the ground and project yourself whatever way you're trying to go. When you want to run fast, right? We just had uh, Justin Kavanaugh on the show and he was talking like, look, coaches saying dumb things like, oh, drive your knees forward to be fast. No, it's about putting force into the ground down and backwards to make you fast. Do ladders actually teach you to apply force into the ground to project you to go whatever way you want to go? You can think about it, but I'll give you the quick answer. It doesn't. All right, you just did, 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 did. Michael Flatley, he's got fast feet. All right, slow feet don't eat. Okay, great. That means Michael Flatley, the Lord of the Dance, who kicks his feet around, and all those other people, they should be great at sports. Oh, no. No, they aren't because it's not that simple. All right, ladders suck. I'll say it again. They're terrible to teach you to be fast and apply force to the ground. Go ahead and watch, watch sports. All right, Kier's talked about it before with the triangle. All right, triangle, so that way your defender doesn't know which way you're going to go. Then you apply force in the ground and go that direction. If you're an offensive player, you're trying to evade and create space. Defensive player, you're trying to close and uh, remove the space. You do that by putting force into the ground. So you have Newton's third law having you go the equal and opposite direction. You don't do that when you're you know tippy-tappy, tippy-tapping on a ladder. Sure, if you're like, hey, I need a low-level plyometric and you're going to do that instead of a rudiment, I guess, maybe, right? Like, sure, but, I mean, it's really, like, just do something else instead because, like I said, ladders suck, right? Athletes love them. Athletes stare at the ground. They do all the, <laughs> stupid, just stop. Like, slow feet, don't eat, awful saying, awful. Whoever said it, you should be embarrassed. It's stupid, don't say it. Uh, if you're a strength coach, sports performance coach, whatever you want to call it, shoot, if you're a sport position coach, stop it. Stop. Stop with the ladders. And while we're at it, the agility bags, football coaches, position coaches, come on. Stop. Stop. You never – linebackers, they don't go side to side picking their knees up like that. Like when does that happen? When you play sport, you need your foot near the ground because you're going to uh, put your foot in the ground and change direction. Stop. Ladders, they're terrible. Hopefully you listened to this and you got rid of them because they suck. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Why don't you celebrate by watching more videos just like it? You can also help us on our quest to placate the algorithm gods by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Thank you.